Uh, one of the things we talk about is the difficulty of lawyers giving good instructions to accountants and why perhaps we're not working together so well and what we could do about improving that. Yeah, so I think one of the difficulties that we as accountants have is that when we get the instructions from family solicitors, it's often a snapshot of information, it's a really small bit of information at a right. point in time, and it's not always clear what's needed and when it's needed by. I, I guess we're probably worrying about overloading you with stuff, and we know you, you tend to do that, I don't know why you do it for free, but you all do it for free, don't you? Thank you very much. Providing the quotes. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that we still need to be, I think you could still be providing a little bit more uh, background information so that we can right. understand what the outcome is specifically that you're looking for. I think what can happen is we'll give the quote and then it might be that so much more information comes back with then in the situation we've got to amend the quote, we've got to change how we're looking at it and it also helps to know who's the right person to be doing the work and we can be figuring that out depending on the information that you give. For example if there's an international element and that also needs to be considered. Yeah I mean I suppose what we end up doing is sending out too many inquiries, too many people managing it all too quickly right at the end. One of the bits I've been quite interested about is how we have to pack a lot into quite a short time. So often forms are a bit late. We're kind of getting quite close to the first appointment and suddenly we've got to sort of get this information, we've got to issue applications, we've got an awful lot to do in, in too little time. So I guess that we're getting squeezed at both ends and we're probably leaving you to pick up the shortfall. Yeah, so as we talk about in the book, we have got some template letters and I think using a template that ha where there's been a bit of thought about what information needs to be provided is going to help take some of the time crunch out of it and at least you're just filling in what you know is going to be helpful for yeah. getting the quote. Yeah. I was thinking also that um, the more we do this work, the more expert we're going to get at it. I, mean, I think at the moment we feel a bit worried about dabbling. We don't really know what we're trying to ask you to do and then we're trying to manage the information coming in. I think there's difference of styles between lawyers. I think, think some of them are trying to almost minimise the information that's getting to the court, and some people are trying to be much more expansive. Yeah, and I think there's an element, like you touched on there, of confidence as well, and knowing that we can take a ranging, you, you as the family solicitors can take a ranging shot roughly and see that you've got an idea of what the figures are going to be before you need to get the expert in to pin that down. Yeah. And I think just a little bit more transparency from our side as tax advisors, um, and then also from, from your side explaining a little bit more about what the client needs and what the expected outcome. And, and I think with the transparency piece, uh, what we get worried about is about infecting you because obviously we shouldn't be having unilateral conversations and I think that was where we got quite excited about having conference calls so we get everyone on the phone and so everyone kind of knows what's going on and we can well, I think it's more about your having a bigger hand in scoping the questions really yeah I think that's really really crucial is we probably as the tax advisors are best placed in as to how to set up the questions yeah. so if you can create those conference calls I think it's going to um, allow better questions and better answers. And quicker. Great stuff.